truck unloading accident. It is a typical day at the chemical plant, where a tanker truck has just arrived to unload its cargo. However, things quickly take a turn for the worse. The raw materials are usually brought to the facility by trucks and unloaded at a designated area. The chemicals are then transported to the reaction units where they are processed and transformed into the final product. A chemical operator is working at a control panel and a field operator approaches the truck to start the unloading process. Another truck already? They said it wasn't due for another hour. I swear, these trucks are getting earlier and earlier. I thought I was done for the day. You've got to be kidding me. The operator impatiently connects the hose to the truck, and then continue the unloading steps. Hey, is there a faster way to complete this task? I feel like it's taking forever. If I open the truck lid, I'd have to go all the way up, unscrew the bolts and lift the heavy lid and do the it all again in the end of the unloading. What if I open the manual vent valve instead? It may work. It is not the same diameter, but the truck would have a vent anyway, and the valve is located at floor level. Less risk for me. Why not? I just want to get it done and get rid of it. So, the operator decides to proceed the fast way. Alright. We're ready to start unloading the tanker. Let's begin the transfer. Control room, this is Spencer, field operator. Please turn on the unloading pump to begin the transfer. Over. Control room speaking. Unloading pump on. Over. A minute later. I'm getting some strange pressure readings from the tank. We should probably check it out. Let's take a look. Oh no. It looks like the truck lid is closed. We need to open it immediately. I'll notify the plant manager and call for emergency services. You make sure to evacuate the area. But it's too late. As the workers rush to evacuate, there's a loud implosion. The tanker collapses in on itself, creating a mess where it once stood. The surrounding area is showered in debris as the workers run away. What happened? The field operator had to unload the trucks by gravity. He had been instructed to, first, open the lid on top of the tank. Second, open the drain valve. Third, when the truck was empty, close the lid on top of the tank. However, in the day of the accident, he incorrectly challenged the need to climb onto the top of the truck twice. He therefore decided to use a vent valve instead of opening the truck lid as relief. To his surprise, the tank was sucked in. The implosion causes severe damage to the tanker truck and injuries. The cause of the accident is later confirmed to be a result of an operational mistake based on a decision error which allowed the vacuum to form and ultimately caused the implosion. The incident serves as a reminder of the importance of proper safety procedures, and the importance of double-checking all the procedure steps status before the unloading process.